away. We learned this morning uh, the death of Meatloaf and also Louis Anderson uh, today. So just, uh, of course, we, lo we lost Betty White. We lost Bob Saget this month as well. To get a little bit more uh, updates on the, uh, the latest passings, we go to our friend uh, Michael Babcock, who uh, joins us with TMZ. Thanks so much uh, for joining us here on Live Now from Fox. And uh, yeah, just what a, what a bad month for celebrities. Hey, Mike, thanks for having me. No, you're right. I, I and I, I wrote down so I wouldn't forget you had Betty White, you had Sidney Potia, you had Bob Saget, and now, of course, Meatloaf, and this morning, Louie Anderson. So that's five really big, some major celebrities in the last, you know, 22, 23 days. And it's, it, it's unfortunate. It's been for a host of different reasons. Uh, unfortunately, with Meatloaf, uh, you know, was was only 74 years old, was still working, was actually, Mike, working on a television show that he was supposed to have meetings for this week. And he caught COVID and it progressed rather quickly. And he uh, he obviously was, you know, he was in no condition to then take a meeting. And sadly, yesterday he uh, he passes away with his wife and with his two daughters by his side. But um, I mean, a guy who was just really larger than life and was uh, was making music for decades, uh, was big, had a had a, a you know, a, a huge record uh, decades ago and then came back in the 90s. Um, he had an incredible career and it's uh, it's sad gone too soon, clearly. Yeah, absolutely there. And uh, so, yeah, that, that's the new information there that died with uh, from uh, COVID uh, complications. Yes, it, was, it was COVID. So, yeah, uh, yeah it, it was COVID. And look, and he's somebody that in the past, had uh, you know, he talked about vaccine mandates, but he had never, uh, at least to my knowledge, talked about his vaccination status. So that's something that's still unknown right now. Did he have the vaccine? Did he not? Uh, that we just don't know right now. But um, COVID did it. And it's uh, it's unfortunate. Yeah, it really is because uh, for for Meatloaf, not only was he big here in the U.S., but also in Europe as well. I mean, he uh, enjoyed a uh, a big span of uh, not only music but acting. Yeah, I think I, I think um, you know not everybody realizes that he was a, a pretty accomplished actor in uh, in his own right too. It wasn't only music when it came to Meatloaf. He really was one of the bigger stars. I think. It was funny. I don't remember if I was working here or not yet at this time, but they talked about Meatloaf actually coming into our office a couple years ago, uh, you know, maybe nine years ago or so, and how he was really larger than life and how people here were, were sort of almost starstruck to see Meatloaf. And, you know, we have a bunch of people come in and out of the building, but uh, there was just something about Meatloaf. He was a, a, a larger than life celebrity. Absolutely. And then, Michael, we got to ask you, too, about uh, Louis Anderson, uh, learning about that, yeah. too, today. Yeah, Louis Anderson. So we had known... Uh, that he was battling a very aggressive form of cancer. He had blood cancer and he had he remained working and he was actually touring while he was going through these really rigorous uh, cancer treatments. And um, uh, sadly this morning, um, you know, after this, this pretty lengthy battle with the blood cancer, Louis Anderson at the age of only 68, uh, he passed away as well. So again, you have two, two big celebrities in the matter of uh, hours who both passed away. I know, and for a lot of people, uh, they're thinking, uh, okay, when can January end here? Uh, so we could get yeah. to a new month, and hopefully uh, this doesn't happen uh, for uh, some loved uh, celebrities coming up later this year. Hey, right, I know. Let's let's just move on to February. I think I'm with everybody. It has not, you know, Betty was was uh, New Year's Eve, but uh, it's not. It has not been a good month for celebrities, and you know, these are these are beloved celebrities too. Louis Anderson was truly one of the funniest stand-up comics that you would ever see, and yeah, let let's bring February here, and no more celebrities. Yeah, he had such a, Louis Anderson had such a unique style there, and it was kind of this laid back, uh, uh, but uh, true to life personality that uh, anytime you just w would speak, you, you would want to listen to see what he had to say. Yeah, and he, and he it truly did seem like one of the nicest guys. Uh, I was watching some old videos of people interacting with him and just just an incredibly nice guy for how big of a comedian that he actually was. You know, he was a part of movies and he was uh, with the stand up comedy specials. He was really successful. And um, I think he always stayed humble and uh, was an approachable guy to all of his fans. Absolutely, absolutely. So uh, we will remember uh, these two greats. Uh, Michael Babcock from TMZ, thanks so much as always for uh, giving us the lowdown of uh, what's happening, uh, not only uh, in the celebrity world, but uh, really in the sports world too. Of course, anytime, Mike. Thank you for having me. Yes, no problem. All right.